What up? Welcome to another episode of Pick and Pop. I'm with your boy Latrell once again. Yeah, what up? What up? So let's get to it. All right, so everyone's excited about Hard Knocks training camp. This time they picked the Raiders. And one of the biggest stories is Antonio Brown's feet. You know, at first, people thought Antonio was just training really hard. Turns out he was in that cryogenic chamber, didn't wear the proper footwear. Yo, check out these feet. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, that's... I mean, I'm trying to understand why his feet look like tectonic plates. Oh, okay, like like that left one looks like Florida. You see like right there in the middle of the <laughs> foot, that's Florida. And then like on the right one, that's like the east side of Africa. How does this happen? Like, I don't understand how does this happen? Ah, oh, man, that looks ridiculous. Like, like it looks like, like his skin is leather on his foot and it's like peeling off. Like, oh, that looks... Oh, and that big toe, that's, that big toe looks... <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was probably before the actual whole being stuck in the frozen thing, but... Well, Antonio, we hope you get better. Wish you a great season. And, you know, some people have different types of hobbies. Some people have cats. Some people have dogs. Some people have stamp collections. Other people try to feed their pet squirrels with their mouth. Let's check it out. <laughs> You know, I, I, and then when I seen the video, I, wow. Who? <laughs> I mean, I just, I hope she would, she, um, I hope she filed down the claws on that squirrel. Cause you could just mess up your whole hard palate. Just having that little critter scraping up and down that thing. Not even that, but you don't know where his head's been. You don't know if, if like, what if he bites your tongue? And then what you got rabies? You got some like, like what? Why are you letting an animal into your mouth? They, it's, it's nasty to let a live animal eat out of your mouth. That is. Oh man, look, like, and, I mean, that... and her eyes are closed. <laughs> like she is in pleasure right now. Her eyes are closed and he just fell out. He's probably just trying to... <laughs> Oh, that's just, that's just nasty. That's just nasty. Oh no, man, how do you just, just how, how are you that patient though? That's, that's, she's just, she's, she's, she's clearly not all right in the head. <laughs> he is not all right in the head. You cannot be sane and let just let him literally like barrel in your mouth. People, do better. Do better. And apparently it gets so hot in Arizona that some of y'all postal workers can actually cook a steak up in that car because it's over 114 degrees. That's wild, okay? Check out this clip. These photos Yo, tell me you wouldn't eat that steak though, bro. Carrier. That a steak looks good. Steak not fully thawed. Yo, yo, that's medium rare. Yo, check it out. That's medium rare. You, you, you wouldn't eat that steak? Reaching an internal temp of 142. For you steak lovers, that's medium. Ooh, I believe prime that's a cut condition. steak. Okay? That's some post office steak. What you know about that? For one, what does your truck smell like after you've cooked that steak in there? And then, <laughs> on top of that, it's in a plastic bag. So that means you got all the chemicals from the plastic that's now in your steak. No, that's not good to eat. Dude, I mean, I, I, I would eat that steak. You would the, eat that. that? Dude, that's some center cut steak right there. I don't, I don't really no, eat I'm just saying, like look that. at the inside. That thing is nice and pink in the middle. No. No? Uh, you wouldn't eat, uh, no, you, I would not, I would never let you eat that. And then what do your mail smell like when you get your mail? <laughs> like your mailbox I mean, must be stinking when you go to pick up your mail. Now this video we got from Bleacher Report. And some of y'all remember playing that dope game NBA Jam and we keep making bucket after bucket after bucket. It's like, yeah. yo, he's on fire. He's on fire. <laughs> so apparently, <laughs> he knows where I'm going with this. Yeah. So apparently someone decided to play a little bit of NBA Jam in real life with the fire. Ooh, look at that sick crossover. Ooh, buckets, buckets. Look, I mean, I just want to know, man, like, like how bored do you have to be to say, you know what, <laughs> I'm going to light a basketball on fire and see I can, if I can dribble it without catching on fire and then actually shooting a basket. without. Get, and, and also, he did have the presence of mind to actually wear gloves. Yeah. Okay, that, I mean, I, I give him kudos. I give him props on that. He did wear gloves. As y'all know, I am very blunt. I expected more. If you're gonna shoot a video of it, don't just dribble the ball a couple of times and then shoot it. Nah, do some tricks. Like do do something that's gonna make me say, "Wow!" Not just, "Oh, it's on fire." 
Uh, this this looks like something out of New York. New York, is this you? This is definitely New York. This this, this, this is, is definitely New York. Y'all got nothing to do. It's the summer. Like y'all <laughs> just like, hey, we just gonna light some balls on fire and see what happens. <laughs> I just say this is this is some New York type of stuff yo, that would happen. Yo, LA, LA cats aren't doing this. Look at the car in the background. <laughs> Why are you parking your car like in the middle of the of the court? Of, of like the basketball that? court? Yeah. Again, if we would have did a trick with the cars. Would have made a better video. Yeah, that might have been the end of his life, though. And for those of you who refuse to take Spirit Airlines, you just got one more reason not to take that flight. Take a look at this. That is a bat oh, terrorizing no. passengers no. on a recent uh -uh. flight from Charlotte to Newark, New Jersey. Passengers say the bat appeared about halfway into the flight. After flapping around for a few minutes, a passenger managed to trap it in a bathroom. Look, look, look. You see, you see a girl's face and she's like, I'm sorry, but if we on a plane and I see a stewardess run and hide somewhere, that's a problem for me because I expect the stewardess to be kind of like, I hate to say it, but y'all kind of like the police. Y'all need to be running to the problem instead of running away from the problem. But then again, this is Spirit. So, you know, Spirit Airlines, you can't expect much from them. And also, hey, where's Sam Jackson when you need him? <laughs> okay, this is your new sequel, brother. Bats on a plane. Come on, bro. Apparently a brave passenger was able to trap the bat with a cup and a book, but they trapped him in the bathroom. I, I would have been I gone. I would have been running. I, I like, nope, I'm good, yeah. I'm good. I'm not trying to get rabies. I'm on, not Batman. On a plane as well? <laughs> on a plane. So you all the way thousands of feet in the air and it's just something just out of the blue just flying around. It's it's not surprising that it's spirit though. <laughs> but, 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 I, see, that's I've a, been on see, spirit. See, see, that's the sad part Man. about it. Everyone's all like, yeah, spirit's a little, it's a little different kind yeah. of airline. I will say it again. Spirit, I would expect this on your flight. But to me, it's just it's just kind of crazy where you have to make a decision. Do I want to get bit by a bat or do I really need to go number two? What would you do? Like if you really had to go with number two on a plane and there's a bat in there and you like, the bubble guts is hitting you and you like, yo, I gotta do something. I gotta do something right now, right now, right now. What would you do? Well, um, not to get too crazy, but they do, they have barf bags on planes, right? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Nah, I don't think anybody you sitting next to will let you go that far. <laughs> Wait, did they do emergency landing or they just kept going to the <laughs> Yo, they kept going. They kept going. Wow. I mean, I mean, that could be the new slogan. That could be the new campaign for Spirit. All the flack you guys are getting. Hey, even if a bat's on the plane, you'll make your destination on time. Hey, hey, I've heard of emotional support pets, but y'all taking it too far with this stuff, okay? Bats, <laughs> that's crossing the line, my dude. Now this next one is some I don't think I've ever seen before, but we have Joe Kim Noah's dad catching a fish with his bare hands. Check it out. I mean that. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like hello, hello. Look at pops, yeah. Look hey, at pops. Yolo, Yannick is yoloing. Yo, I can't even um, diss this man right here, man. This, this is, this is dope. Yeah. This is dope. Yeah. He pops of the year. He jumped in there and grabbed the fish, man. And the thing is, you know this ain't the first time he's done it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at look this. Look at it. But look, if I was ever, like, stuck somewhere and my yeah. pops could do this, I'd be like, yo, I want pops me everywhere I go, man. This, this is dope right here. And also, yeah. man, I love how you stand in character all the, with all the, like, the noises. Like, boom. Yeah. It's like it's like a kind of like it's like a Caribbean Beavis and Butthead. Got a fish. Got the fish. No, you can't do them like that. You <laughs> said the Beavis and Butthead. No, you can't the, the, do them the like Caribbean, that. That's the Caribbean. Pops, man. The Hello. Hello. I mean, dude, get this man a voiceover job. Get this man a voiceover job. Say, like, hello. Get him on Naked and Afraid. This man knows how to hunt. This man is a national treasure. Yannick Noah, I salute you. Hey, yo, forget Baywatch. This is where it's at. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. Now, some of us in this country take dental health care very seriously. And I got to tell you a wild story of a seven-year-old boy from India who had 526 teeth removed. 
Yo, look at all those teeth, man. It, look, it looks like a bunch of like those diamonds and gemstones. You remember when you had to like study about minerals and stuff in, in the earth? And it's just like tons of different diamonds or have y'all seen that movie, The Core? You know where like they're going down the core through the mantle? But but also, yo, why are they all looking hella sad? Like some bad just happened. Yeah, the picture, the picture with, with the kid and all the doctors, right? Yeah. His parents. That's something I was saying because I'm like, that's an amazing thing you guys just did for the, for the, for this kid. You take out all of those teeth for him, and everyone there is looking just like depressed and sad. It's like, yo, this is dope. This is good. Nah, Smile. bro. I know what it Smile. is. I know what it is. What? I know why they're looking all sad and depressed. Why? Two words. Tooth fairy. <laughs> okay. This family's about to go broke off this operation. 526 teeth? Okay. <laughs> If they believe in the tooth fairy in India, yo, that family just went broke. Okay, what's that? What's like? It's like a dollar or two. What's like that's five hundred twenty-six dollars on top of the operation. It's getting real. Yo, y'all might as well cancel Christmas, cancel everything else, cause y'all just broke the bank with the five hundred twenty-six teeth. But how how y'all just gonna make artwork out of this man's teeth? Okay, this was not a laughing matter. This is a serious situation. Wait, wait, look at this oh, photo. Hold look at that. That looked like one of the what was. Yeah, it looks like stone hinges, man, where yeah. it's just like a circle. Y'all y'all just making uh, crop circles with his teeth. Yo, M. Night Shyamalan, yeah, they out here making like. crop circles with your boy's teeth. I hope you get better. Um, I hope you can smile soon. Yo, and that's the show. I got my boy Latrell here. Make sure to share, yeah, yeah. like, subscribe, follow us on IG. Until yeah. next time. Woo! Yeah.